So just a couple of weeks back guys, uh, we had that release on the sneakers app for the Nike SP Dunk Low in that uh, Fly Streetwear version, which most definitely not a lot of people managed to get their hands on. But in today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at a pair of Nike Dunk Lows, which will be very close uh, to that earlier release. guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please make sure you're gonna press the like button and maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at the latest drop for the nike dunk low which is coming from the nike website so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which will come in your regular uh, red box with the nike lettering and the nike swoosh in this white color here on top so let's go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at a very clean pair of Nike Dunk clothes in this racer blue colorway. just dropped uh, here in the UK guys uh, for a retail price of a hundred pounds and as I said earlier this one will be very close uh, to the earlier release for that uh, fly uh, streetwear which got dropped on the sneakers app and it was actually quite hard to get your hands on and from what I saw on the secondary market those are uh, reselling at uh, almost double the price but in case you want to have something similar which you can order it straight away you can go for this racer blue which i need to be honest has a very nice color blocking but you've probably realized already that this one will have that stiff leather material which for sure i'm not a big fan of so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see guys for this upper we're gonna have a mix of materials so starting here at the front of the tobo section we're gonna have this synthetic leather in this blue colorway which as you can see will also be present here for the lacing system and this one will also go and wrap this whole heel section and also just above it where we're also gonna have this nike embroidered in this white color but coming back at the front of the shoe covering the top part of the tobo section we're gonna have this synthetic tumble leather which will have your normal perforation holes to give us some breathability and this tumble leather guys will also be present here in the midfoot underneath these sushes and it will also be present here covering the whole ankle section as well Continue now in the midfoot guys for the actual lacing system we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will keep in place these blue flat laces and just underneath these laces we're gonna have this mesh tongue in this off-white color which will have a decent amount of padding and this one will also have this nice white tag here at the top which will have the Nike swoosh and the lettering in this racer blue color. Continue now in the midfoot guys we're gonna have these Nike swooshes on each side which will be in this uh, white color but going now inside of the shoe guys uh, for this one we're gonna have this uh, white lining which underneath will have a normal amount of padding so nothing special here and at the bottom we're also gonna have this uh, foam insole in this blue color which will also have the nike swoosh and the lettering imprinted here at the heel section in this white color so now guys uh, we can go to this uh, rubber midsole which will have your normal standard pattern so nothing special here so this one will also be stitched uh, to the actual shoe and now guys we can finish with this uh, racer blue rubber outsole which will have uh, your unchanged pattern so this one will share the same platform with the air jordan ones as well which apparently is one of the best attractions in the world 
but this one also have the Nike swoosh and the lettering here in the midfoot. As in for the actual sizing guys, for me as I have a skinny feet, I'm always going with a half size down in all of the Nike Dunks. So for me that one fits me just fine, but I would say that for normal feet you can just stick with your throttle size. And just in case you have white feet guys, you should probably go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this front part of the shoe is not gonna be too snug for you. So overall guys, this latest drop for this Nike Dunk Low in this racer blue colorway, in my opinion is looking very clean and I need to admit that also the quality control for this one is on point, which we're gonna get it quite uh, rare, I don't uh, see any glue stains or uh, any problems with the stitchings, I really feel that uh, I got lucky enough to have a very clean pair of uh, Dunk Lows, but as usual guys, uh, this one will be a non-collab, it will just use your normal uh, stiff materials, uh, which as I'm saying in most of the dunks I'm not a big fan of, but nowadays uh, that's uh, something quite common to get these materials. But yet again I really feel that this white combined with this racer blue are looking uh, quite good. So for sure if this one is available in your country I would uh, probably advise you to go for it. I really feel that this one is one of the cleanest uh, dunks uh, which is a non-collab uh, to release in the last uh, couple of months. So uh, yeah guys this was my unboxing reviewing of this uh, latest drop for this Nike Dunk Low in this uh, racer blue colorway. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. And as always, I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.